Air travel can be exciting, but for plus size travelers, using airplane laboratories can be a challenge. Take me back to Florida Zoo. Going back to Florida Zoo. Do you guys remember this TikToker from a while ago? Well, if you don't. No one should have to endure the discomfort, embarrassment, and discrimination that often comes with being a plus size passenger trying to navigate air travel. TikToker goes by the name of Hebe. And not so long ago, they were upset with the airlines complaining that a certain set of people were unable to fit into seats. Look, if I'm being perfectly honest, this TikToker is basically the equivalent of a professional complainer. But for plus size travelers, then 1 billion people in the world are plus size. And has somehow managed to make it into a full time career with reaching 133,000. 0.6 thousand followers on TikTok. We've also about 6 million likes. <laughs> Why is there 6 million people liking content like this? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't really know myself. Well, I've been dissecting their TikTok recently and looking at a lot of their content. And yes, it was painful. So please hit the like button and leave a comment down below before we get into this train wreck. So since making that viral TikTok a few months ago, where I think everyone underneath the sun has reacted to at this point, no one should have to endure the discomfort, embarrassment, and discrimination. She's made a few adjustments since then, trying to recorrect maybe the wrongs in which she created at the beginning, trying to justify her reasoning behind the things that she said. The gist of the original video was her complaining that seats aren't big enough for overweight people, and it's their fault that she can't fit in the seat. Yes, it's everyone else's fault. Everyone's fault except theirs. Made a TikTok in which she was going to start a petition. Sign my petition, damn it. But here's, here's a few little updates since then. Today, I want to talk about why I started my plus size travel petition just a few short months ago. I created the petition after numerous stories shared with me by my followers. Many of them plus size individuals who have avoided flying for years due to terrible and discriminatory experience. Today, I want to talk about my plus size travel petition that recently went viral. There has been a huge misunderstanding that I want other airline passengers to have to foot the bill for the suggestion. <laughs> Policy changes outlined in my plus size travel petition. It's very much all of a sudden. Look, guys, I'm on your side now. Today, I want to talk about the misconceptions regarding my petition. I recently started a petition that demands the FAA to protect plus size travelers and customers of size, which millions have heard about now around the world. My petition is about ensuring that every individual has access to safe and comfortable air travel. It's not just about plus size individuals, but also about individuals with disabilities who may require additional space or accommodations to travel safely and comfortably. By having regulations in place that protect plus size individuals, it would also benefit those with disabilities. Because in the original video, she very much claimed that it's plus size people that should have extra space. And why she claims here that we wouldn't be paying for it, we would. Because a normal sized person wouldn't have that extra space because, well, obviously we wouldn't need it. And the airlines are then going to start to feel the cost of giving away extra free space that they don't really have for people like this. I don't know how you can really sit there and say something like this and feel like there's not going to be any detrimental effects if they were to implement this. Ensuring that they have the space and accommodations they need to travel comfortably. Taller individuals also face many of the same challenges that plus size travelers face when traveling by air. <laughs> See you guys, you want, you want it as well. You guys want it as well. Come on now, it'd be beneficial for everybody. Not just me, not that selfish. Shouldn't it really be if like the fact that you can't actually fit onto an airplane Damn. be a little bit of a wake up call to some people? <laughs> like, bro, that's not like the type of weight where it just, that happens overnight. You know, it's not like you just, on Monday, you managed to fit in the airplane just fine. But come Wednesday, oh my God, what has happened? You don't fit. No, it's like, you know, it's a slow process and it happens and it should absolutely just be a wake up call, bro. Why has everyone else got to change? Just not you. Like it's not healthy to begin with. Any way you want to twist it, healthy in any size. Yeah, cool. That might sound really nice, but just because it sounds nice and doesn't hurt your feelings, doesn't really mean it's true though. Legroom is often limited and plane seats are designed for the average size individual. By by having regulations in place that protect plus size travelers, taller individuals would also benefit greatly. Last- <laughs> Yeah. When was the last time you saw a basketball player being like, <gasps> us tall kings don't have it easy, you know? Fact, I'm 6'1". Uh, guys, I would like to start a petition, please, 
for tall people. Yeah, sure, it can get a little uncomfortable. Fucking boo-hoo, bro. I get to go on holiday. I couldn't care if I was on a plane that was just slightly uncomfortable for a few hours. I might complain about it, but hell, I'm not gonna be out here making a whole petition about it, demanding. And also, not to even mention the fact, let's be real for a second, me being six foot one, it's not like I chose that. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not like, I ate too much food, and the next thing I knew, I just grew too much. Maybe if I go on a diet, I can go back to like 5'5 five, five or something. Like, it doesn't... So actually, if I was to make a petition about this, it'd probably make a bit more sense than she is even saying. This is stupid. There are individuals who physically take up more space regardless of their size, and they also deserve to have access to safe and comfortable air travel. As a taller individual, I, I decline your humble generosity. Thank you. Though. Average size individual. <laughs> an average size. Yeah, there is an average size, believe it or not. That's how statistics work. Signing my petition, we are not only advocating for the rights of plus size individuals, but for the rights of all individuals who face challenges when traveling by air. Let's stand together and demand that the FAA takes action to protect the rights of all air travelers. You can check out my petition by clicking the link in my bio or heading to change.org slash plus size travel. Thank you so much for watching and for your support. Make sure to hit that follow button for more plus size travel tips and advocacy. Oh, excuse me. Would you like to sign my petition? <laughs> Why does anyone have a petition these days? It's everyone else's fault except for me. I'm not the problem. Everyone else is. Let me know what you guys think. Should we sign the petition? I don't think we should. I'm kind of curious. What else does she have on her TikTok? What other stuff can she offer me as a viewer? Well, not a lot, really. It seems to... <laughs> every video seems to be complaining about air, air travel, or it's about top 10 tips for fat people who are looking to travel. Here is a list of the top six plus size friendly airlines to fly with. Just lose the weight. I, why? Why is it like every other fucking thing <laughs> that they want to do except for just lose the weight? Well, Ablaze, I actually think that's rather insensitive. You can't lose weight. Yes, you can. <laughs> It might be harder for some people, but it's certainly an option. <laughs> They're not even mentioning it. It's like, oh, bro, it does my head in, man. Like, top 10 foods to lose weight overnight. I lost 10 pounds in one night with trick number three. Plus size travel struggles, part five. The pressure to lose weight before travel. Being uncomfortable on planes. Not knowing what plus size travel essentials to pack. What? Well, well, you curious? I'm curious. Plus size essentials to pack. Fucking what, like a, 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 an oxygen tank? Hmm. Do I bring my Nintendo Switch on my oxygen tank? Plus size essentials to bring on a plane. Compression socks. Oh, my favorite. I do love those compression socks, guys. Foot hammock. <laughs> no, I made that one up. Travel pillow. Heat patches. Anti-chafing solution. Ha, <laughs> old fans. <laughs> and my favorite. Fat friendly reading. What the fuck does that even mean? Flights are a brilliant place to get really stuck into a new book, and there are some amazing titles out there when it comes to fat friendly reading. <laughs> what class is as a fat friendly book? Find yourself a copy of whichever one tickles your fancy the most and enjoyable journeying. We've shared some of our top picks for plus size friendly reading here. What, number one's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory or something? What the fuck is funny? What does this mean? Where were we? Oh yeah. Number nine. If you are traveling on a plane and you happen to be overweight, make sure to bring some snackies with you. Can't be losing calories. The fact of the matter is that people- When's she gonna- when's she gonna drop her bulk tips though? That's what I really want to see. <laughs> Top 10 bulking tips. I'd watch that. This is a great question and as much as- Let's have a look. What is this great question that she talks about? Do you find two seats in economy enough room? Is it a great question? No, I actually prefer three. <laughs> I've talked about buying two seats as a plus size traveler who wears a size 6X. I've never given you the real tea on how comfortable it is to sit in two seats. So let me- Is it though? Is it really? Or well, like, what would be better? Two seats or just one seat? I don't get why they're trying to promote it so much. Like, you have to try the two seats. Oh my God, it's just so good. Oh, and you wait. You wait until you try free seats. <laughs> Fuck it, have the whole row. I mean, actually, ha yeah. No, I'll give her that, actually. Having the whole row is, it is nice, yeah.
Here are 10 tips for keeping your confidence high when you're traveling as a plus size person. Now, if you're thinking about clicking off this video, wait, just wait. I want to hear you with a fun fact right now. Well, it's not it's actually kind of depressing, but I mean, it's still a fact. Did you know that more than 1 billion people in the world are plus size? <laughs> no! That's roughly 13% of the population. And yet, many airlines still don't have clear policies in place to accommodate plus size passengers. That's why I've started a petition calling on the FAA to require every airline to have a clear customer size policy in place. Miss, can I have one of the fat busted extender, please? <laughs> Thanks. Are you sorted? Yeah, all okay. good. Thank you very much. I don't know why, but they're kind of making it sound like plus size people. It's like a pandemic in the sense that like they all got bitten by the, the fat mosquito or something. And then they woke up the next day and were like, Jesus Christ, ma'am, ma'am. <laughs> I don't know, man. Can't win. You can't win on the internet. Who am I kidding, eh? I'm, I'm going to get people in the comments right now saying it's, it's impossible. It's impossible to lose the weight. She can eat. 100 calories a day and she'll still be the same size. Really? Such a touchy subject for some reason. For plus size passengers. No but that's okay. You guys are allowed to have your own opinions at the end of the day. No one should have to endure the discomfort, embarrassment, and discrimination that often comes with being a plus size passenger trying to navigate air travel. By signing this petition, you can help us demand that airlines take concrete steps to make air travel more inclusive and accommodating for all passengers. I feel like I'm getting the vibe that she's going to ask me to donate sponsor an overweight person today. And did you know that only 1% of overweight, obese people are sponsored? Adopt. Adopt a fat person today. <laughs> Do it. Become a better person. Adopt one. Travel is for everybody. Don't ever let society convince you you aren't worthy of seeing the world because of your size. Oh, please stop. <laughs> no, little Jimmy, I've told you this. You can't go and see the pyramids in Egypt because you're overweight. Get it for your calorie dense, stupid head. Who says that? They're just making up stuff at this point. Yes, if you're overweight, newsflash, you're more than welcome to travel. <laughs> just this once though. <laughs> oh man, they just make stuff up at this point. It's been thoroughly entertaining watching this TikTok. If you made it to the end, damn, you should probably subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.